you were using the Spotify app on your iPhone just fine, until you updated your phone software to iOS 13.2. There are various reasons as to why certain app would crash, but the most apparent trigger is the app being buggy, or the installation was corrupted. Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you what to do if Spotify keeps crashing on your iPhone after iOS 13.2. First solution, close Spotify and force restart your iPhone. Most of the time, app crashes are minor app issues. They occur every now and then but they're not necessarily hard to fix. In fact, closing the app in question and reopening it might fix the issue, but it's best to also refresh your device's memory. So here's what you need to do. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen and stop at the middle. This will show you the app previews. Now, swipe up on the Spotify preview to close it. Do the same to other apps. To force restart your iPhone, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then do the same for the volume down button. The moment you release the volume down button, press and hold the power key for 15 seconds or until the Apple logo shows. Now wait for your iPhone to finish restarting. Once the reboot is finished, try opening Spotify and see if it still crashes. Second solution, uninstall Spotify and reinstall it. Another effective solution to this problem is uninstalling the app in question. Doing so will remove all its associations with the firmware and other apps. After that, reinstall the app to make sure you have the latest version. Here's how you do those things. Go to the screen where the Spotify icon is located. Tap and hold on its icon until options show. Tap delete app. Tap delete to confirm the deletion of the app. Go back to the home screen. Launch the App Store. Search for Spotify, and then tap the install icon. Wait for the app to be successfully installed on your iPhone. When the installation is finished, tap open to launch it. Most of the time, these are the only things you need to do to fix an app that keeps on crashing. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you have to do the next solution. Third solution, factory reset your iPhone. A reset will be able to fix this problem but make sure to create a backup of your important files and data because they will be deleted and you may not be able to retrieve them. When ready, follow these steps. From the home screen, tap settings. Find and tap general. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, and then touch reset. Tap erase all contents and settings. Tap erase now. If prompted, enter your security lock. Tap Erase iPhone at the bottom of the screen. Tap Erase iPhone again to proceed. Now enter your Apple ID password, and then tap Erase to proceed with the reset. Wait until your iPhone has finished the reset, and then set it up as a new device. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications. Thanks for watching.